Mel C, Melanie's actually, right? It's just pronounced it. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Must be a new experience, right? You sitting here all alone and getting all the attention instead of four girls. Um, well, I've never really thought of it like that. It, yeah, it is quite different. But, you know, even in the Spice Girls, we've always done little bits and pieces on our own. So, yeah. And before the Spice Girls, you know, I did, I did walk alone. So, <laughs> so what, what about the other girls? I mean, I know that everybody's doing their own thing. And, and I mean, for instance, everybody's going solo at the moment. But mm -hmm. is there still a future for the Spice Girls? Oh, absolutely. We're working on our third album at the moment. And we've always wanted to do solo stuff as well as be a band. And just... It's, it's the right time now. You know, we haven't really had a chance before. But we're still continuing with our third album will be out next year. Next year. And Mel G will have an album out probably next year. And, and Emma's working on an Emma, album. And I also heard and Porsche Victoria is doing. Too. Victoria, yeah. So everybody's Porsche. going the wrong thing. Yeah, Porsche. It's, it's, yeah, Porsche. Yeah. But you should, Victoria. You're, you're still the sporty spice, right? Yes. I'll always be sporty spice. Always. Okay, about the album, Northern Star. Mm -hmm. Who or what actually is the Northern Star? The Northern Star, well, this is, a, this is a big, long explanation. Right, well, it's a song on the album. And the song's about, for me, something that you're looking for in life. Something that's constant and you can rely on and something that's going to guide you through. Now, I thought that the Northern Star was a really beautiful symbol of that. And just thought it was a good... Good name for the album. Okay. And it's a bit of a play on words because I'm from Liverpool and so. You're up north. Um, You're from up north. I'm northern, yeah. yeah. According to the critics, they said like, um, Melanie C is coming with a quite pop rocky album. But then I listened to the album and with the, the number um, going down is quite rocky. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see that Never Be the Same Again is a bit R&B with yeah. Lisa Lopez. Mm -hmm. And then there's also one song, um, I don't know, I just thought it was sort of Paul McCartney, We All Live Together thing. It was quite happy and everybody was like. Oh, suddenly one day. I think so. Yeah. But it's totally different. Yeah, I mean, it, that's the thing. The first the first few outings I've had, you know, like, um, <laughs> that sounds funny. Um, you know, with going down the first single being quite rocky and Gaga was on the Big Daddy soundtrack and that was pretty rocky. Mm -hmm. I was on the V99 festival, a rock festival. So, of course, you know, I'm going to play a set that's rocky. You've got to do it, you know, to... Yeah. Um, appropriate for the festival, um, but you know they they shouldn't be so quick to to make preconceptions for because it, yeah. the album is not a rock album. No. It's a complete mixture, like you said. Yeah, and that's also because you said like uh, the other girls were quite into R and B, mm -hmm. and you're from uh, yeah, well at, back at home a lot of rock records and mm -hmm. stuff. But what kind of music do you listen to more? I mean, what artists are more? Of your well, I mean, mainly I listen to bands like Blair, and I've been listening to the Stereophonics a lot. Mm -hmm. But around the time I was making the album, I was listening to Garbage and the Cardigans, and I always listen to the Beatles every now and then. I've always listened to Madonna, yeah. so it's you know it's quite varied. That's, that's quite cool listening to Madonna and then working with William Orbit, right? That's very cool. I mean William Orbit, Rave Light Madonna, um, Rick Brumman, mm -hmm. Beastie Boys, mm -hmm. um, Al Cool J, Al Peppers, mm -hmm. Slayer. I mean then boom, Sporty Spice comes into the building and works with the dynamic duo. What's up with that? I mean, <laughs> It's, you know, it's funny, the people who were on the album were people whose work I really admire and people who I wanted to work with, but a lot of it was coincidental as well. You know, I'm very fatalistic and, and things just sort of all happened and it all came mm -hmm. together. Yeah. But I'd wanted to work with William for a long time yeah. and um, and I knew Rick from working with him with the Spice Girls. Mm -hmm. So I was I was really happy when he, you know, he was eager to work on some tracks with me. So then from the Spice Girls into, um, you know, it's a sort of uh, it's a sort of formula, the way it works. And then now it's Melanie C by their own working with these two producers. I mean, that must be yeah, quite cool. Yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't so much say a formula because it, it, it makes it sound a bit, yeah. you know, manufactured, which it isn't. I know people, some people still think it is, but whatever. Um, but, you know, it is a group and it's a collective and, and we, we share a vision and we make the music that, you know, we create the Spice Girls. Yeah between, you know, yeah. what we are. And as you say, you know, you go alone and, you know, it's much more my individual influences and tastes. Yeah. But that's, that's so funny, coming from the, you know, like like the, the just the girl power stuff. And then at one song you start with, I'm a bitch and stuff like that. You sing like that, I go like, okay, she changed quite a bit. <laughs> I mean, no, I've not changed. It's just, you know, another emotion, something else that I wanted to express. Yeah. Doing your own thing the way yeah. you want it. You know, like anybody, you, you feel differently about different situations. And, and when you're writing music, you want to really, you know, show, well, I do, want to show every part of me.
So you've been to LA for a couple of months? Yes. And, uh, and, and one of the funny, funny things where you said like, uh, oh, it was so funny, we went there to a Hollywood party and we were just uh, seeing the stars and stuff like that. But did it ever occur to you that those stars have children and those, those stars, those children go crazy on Spice Girls? Well, you know, you, you do remember that sometimes, but it's not initially the way you think. Because, you know, I'm still the same girl who was, you know, it was when I was at school and so I think, oh, wow, famous people. <laughs> but then when you become a celebrity, it doesn't, you don't, like, your mind doesn't change. No. So I still, like, have to think, oh, God, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm famous too. <laughs> yeah, because coming up from a small town, from Liverpool, I mean, up north in England, stuff like that, is it everything you expect out of it? I mean, you're somebody who probably can get everything she wants. What does Melanie C. wants more? What do I want? Besides uh, more just, sneakers, I, of course. I'm like everybody, I just want to be happy. You know, and, that, and that's one of the other reasons for doing the solo album. It's just, it's something I want to do, something that I enjoy, and I love being with the Spice Girls and getting up on stage. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm really lucky, you know, I'm, I'm really happy to be able to do what I want to do, yeah. because there's so many people in jobs that they hate. <laughs> and I can't even call mine a job. No. No, actually, no. you can't call this a job, right? It's doing things you like. What does an ordinary day for you look like? There's no ordinary days. No? I, I mean, a day while I'm on tour, like today's a show day. And so I'm usually up pretty early. I like to go down the gym for a couple of hours. Then I have some lunch. Then I speak to people like yourself, mm -hmm. maybe do a few photos, speak to some magazines. Buying sneakers. And then buy some sneakers. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go down to the gig, sound check, and then just hang around really prepare for the gig. And then knock them dead, hopefully. Knock them dead. Yeah, that's what we intend to do tonight. <laughs> okay. So from the choreographer stuff, now just doing your own thing. I mean, how, how much influence is, is the, the way it looks on stage? Is it totally 100% for you, the way you, you handle it on stage? Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's not really that much to expect visually. No. You know, it's, it's just me and my band playing our tunes. It's not like Spice Girls where there's all loads of choreography no. and big costume changes. You know, it's, it's just a gig in now. It's, it's just about the music. <laughs> So you're here in Amsterdam, it's not your first time? Is no, it? I've been here quite a few times. Yeah, so what do you think of it? The Dutch it's people? nice. Yeah. It's cool, man. Unfortunately, whenever I'm here, we're always so busy. I don't get a chance, you know, because I love to walk around, because all the lovely mm -hmm. little streets and, and cafes and things. <laughs> is it, is it uh, quite a lot different than with in back in England? Um, I mean, yeah, it's, I think Amsterdam's a very individual place, you know, with all the, the little canals and stuff. I don't think there's anywhere quite like that. Mm -hmm. But there's parts of England that are quite reminiscent of it, I suppose. It's got some similarities, right? With Amsterdam. Yeah, but it's, it's got a lot of characters. It's a, it's a beautiful place. And 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 if you accord Dutch people with English people, who are more who are more open, is that English people or? I think you've got a really open society here in Amsterdam. Huh? You know, as much as as I've seen, you know, being a visitor.
now that you're here, and uh, I bought you a little present. It's, it's, it's actually typical Dutch, but I just want you to know before you're heading back to England. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is what we call a uh, pepernote, roughly translated pepper nuts. Oh, it's ginger. It's like ginger. ginger. That's not ginger, is it? I can smell ginger and that ginger. Yeah, it's, it's a sort of... Uh, like, it smells like gingerbread. It is. But just taste one and see if you like it. It's, uh, it's typical for... Uh, uh, it's a sort of tradition. It's called Sinterklaas. Mmm. I like... You like it? It's like we have gingerbread. It's like gingerbread men. Do you have them? No, I don't think no, so. it's nice. No. Say lekker nootje. What does it mean? Le it means nice nut. Nice nut? Lekker nootje. Lekker no here. Exactly, thank you. If you want some, you can, you can take it, you like. Thank you, I'll have some of my tea later. Een beetje Nederlandse sfeer erin gooien, dat is wel heel belangrijk. Oké, okay, let's do some name dropping, alright? Okay. I call a name, and you give a statement for that. Michael Jackson. I don't know what you yeah. mean. Just like, well, the first thing that comes into my head. That's true. Um, dangerous. Dangerous? Yeah. You like Michael Jackson? Yes. Okay. Okay, mobile phone. <laughs> Yeah, my brain didn't work in today. <laughs> Mother phone. E.T. E.T.? <laughs> you have a, how, how high are your bills for a phone? Are you somebody um, who's hanging on the phone all the time? Do you know time? what? Actually, probably not as high as they used to be. They used to be about £600 a month. £600? Because pounds. I was constantly on the phone. But I don't use them so much anymore. It, it gets on my nerves a bit. If you know, my if brain's not. fried enough as it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. Bill Clinton. I, I really can't. <laughs> no words will come out for any of them. It's too early, um, maybe. I just thought of that bird. I can see her face, but I can't remember. Man Manica Lewinsky. Yeah. <laughs> That's what comes into my head. Okay, next one. This, this one is Jerry Halliwell. Mate. Melanie Crisson. <laughs> Where's the R? My name's Chisholm. Chisholm? Yes. Chisholm? Yeah, it's so funny because... Everyone always says Chrism and it's, there's no Chrism. R in it. Chism. 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 I won't forget that one. That's me, of course. Chism. Me. Actually, I'm, 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 I'm almost through. I just hope that, uh, that you have a, lots of luck in your future. Thank you very much. And um, looking out for the next things coming up. Especially to also the Spiders album. I mean, mm -hmm. working with Ryan Jurgens must be something. Um, is there any last final word you want to say to the Dutch uh, viewers? I just hope you like the album. And if you're coming tonight, I hope you have a great time. Okay, so this was Melanie C. By the Music Factory. Tot the volgende keer. This is the Music Factory